Hey, all right, this is AJ from the Warriors Project, and we are out here in uh, Bucyrus, Ohio, at a recovery rally at Suburban Lanes. And I ran into Richie Weber. Richie Weber is uh, an MMA fighter, and he has an organization, Fight for Recovery. Correct, Fight for Recovery. And I love his shirt because normally we see the the shoot your local heroin dealer. Well, he's got a new he's got a new angle on it. He just wants to choke him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your tell me about your organization and what you do. Yeah, basically what we do is uh, we try and uh, first and foremost put on positive sober events for the community, especially younger recovering addicts. Because the biggest problem that I had when I first got clean was that you know I would go to a 12-step meeting and most of the people there were 40, 50, 60 years old, and I couldn't really relate to them too well. And all too many times I would get really bored. And you know I love my mom to death, but when you're 22 years old, you only hang out with your mom. Sometimes you feel like a loser. So I needed people that I could hang out with because Is otherwise. That in the I, uh, yes. Oh, even better. Yes, That's better. So you know I needed people that I could hang out with that were my age. I could relate Absolutely. That didn't use drugs, so yeah. that's kind of why I started this in the first place. All right. So tell me a little bit how you uh, how you got where you were going and then with your addiction. Uh, when I was 17 years old, I broke my arm playing football. Uh, the first hospital I went to prescribed me Vicodin. The second that did the surgery prescribed me Percocets, and that led to uh, my eventual heroin addiction. So we see this reoccurring over and over again that our, our, our doctors are our original drug dealers. Yeah, basically, you know, for the first couple days, did I need some painkillers? Sure, my arm was killing me, but uh, three months, no, I didn't. No, no, I didn't yeah, need yeah. A three months supply. <laughs> At all. <laughs> well, excellent. I hear you're doing a lot of good. Now you're an MMA, MMA fighter. Yes. And you had your first fight for in a memorial with your best friend that owed you. Yeah. He was. Uh, his name was Charles Buchanan. He was a state wrestler. Uh, he also did mixed martial arts. For the longest time, he was always trying to get me into it. So when he passed away, just to kind of cope with that, I decided I would get punched in the face and do a fight. Yeah. So I did my first fight. I won in 36 seconds and. Um, they handed me a microphone, there's a couple hundred people there, and I told the whole crowd that uh, I did that fight in honor of my best friend Charles Buchanan, who was a heroin addict, and that not all heroin addicts were bad people, that were good people with a bad problem, and that I too was a recovering heroin addict, and I'm here and I'm living and I'm free there. Oh, good, and I love it. Well, I heard from a little birdie today, well, Mama Dukes. Okay. Yeah, Mama Dukes, that she's going to be back December 10th because you're fighting and she's sponsoring yes. you. Yes. And that's awesome. You got a, a fuck heroin foundation sponsor. Yes, it's awesome. That means she said something good. I would like to see that go. I plan on being there. Awesome. Yeah, I plan on being there and I really uh, enjoyed sitting down with you. Awesome. Thank yeah, you very much. much.